What's going on, everybody? It's Cable Line Network here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. How's everybody feeling today? All right. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is it going to be like in 2045, according to top scientists. All right. Now, for one, when you predict the future, it's fraught with challenges. But when it comes to technological advances and forward thinking, experts working at the Pentagon's research agency may be the best to ask. What is it going to be like? It's pretty much going to be like robots and artificial technology are going to transform a bunch of the industries. Drone aircraft will continue their leap from military to the civilian market. And self-driving cars will make your commute a lot more bearable. Now, yes, yeah, self-driving. There's not going to be any flying cars for a while because of Islamic terrorists. Yeah, they're not going to do that. If ISIS is still around 2045, can you just imagine that, guys? You're just flying in traffic out of nowhere. Some guy decides to detonate an EMP up, you know, up in the air and then have all the cars fall down on buildings and such. That's like a disaster waiting to happen. So self-driving cars will be the future. All right. Now, basically, a neurologist said that imagine a world where you could just use your thoughts to control the environment. Think about controlling dif different aspects of your home just by using your brain signals or maybe commuting with your friends using a neural activity from your now my problems with that now psychic um, you know communication we don't know how to do that we won't know how to do that for the next 50 million years but anyway now controlling things just by simply using your mind already they have had technology to where humans have been able to communicate to mice using a big neural interface on their head they also have worked out to where you can control a computer just by using your eye. The eye, anywhere your eye goes, the mouse goes. There's already technology right now. Um, this is for people that can afford it. Now, if you get into a real bad accident and you can't move your body or anything, all you have to do is look at a monitor and blink and you can type out everything that you, know, you wanna say. Technology like that is already in the making and it's already being used today. Now, a genealogist said that we'll be able to build things that are incredibly strong but also very lightweight. Think of a skyscraper using materials that are as strong as steel but light as carbon fiber. That's a simple explanation for what Tomskin's innovations, which gets a little more complicated down to the molecular level. Ugh, molecular, ugh, molecular level. I don't know why I can say that. Okay, um, the heavier a building is, the better because as screwed up as the atmosphere is going to get in the future, high winds and other types of environmental hazards. Yeah, I would rather have a building that's like literally a million pounds than something that's a thousand pounds, but it's just lightweight and it's hard as steel. No, I don't want that. I want something with weight on it. All right, but let's get back into this. Now, they also go on to say that in 2045, we're going to find that we have a very different relationship with the machines around us. I know everybody's going to think about that one feature on the show where Fry boned the robot, but anyway. Now, she said that she think it will begin to see a time where we're able to simply talk or even press a button to interact with a machine to get things done more intelligently instead of using keyboards or random voice recognition software. She continues, for example, right now, prepare for a landing in an aircraft. There is a multiple steps that has to be taken to prepare yourself from navigation, getting out of cruise control, to begin to set up the throttles, put the gear down. All these steps could happen in the right sequence. All right, now my thoughts on that. We already have technology right now that we could honestly just push a button and then the robot will figure out everything an aircraft needs to do to land. It's actually very simple. The problem is nobody wants to spend the extra million dollars it would have, it would be needed to set that up. You would literally have to take apart your aircraft and rewire it. That's why, you know, people really have not, well, a lot of airports haven't adapted this. It's just too much money. We already currently have this technology available. Guys, thanks again for watching. This has been Cable Line Network. Yes, this has been what the year 2045 will be like, according to the top scientists. Now, I've already debugged and, you know, provided evidence by stating already used facts and already used machines to say that we don't really know what the future is going to hold. There's going to be a lot of technical advances here and there, but we're not just looking at advances. We have to look at the way the world actually is. What type of threat is there? Is there going to be a need for heavily armored robot terminator looking things in the future? You never know how things go. 
Alright guys, thanks again for watching. This has been Cable Line Network here. Peace out and I'll talk to y'all.